Hey everybody, CW here, Card Wolf, because I'm always on the hunt for great cards. Today it is time for another pack battle with Average Joe. That's right, Average Joe and I are going to throw down once again today, and we are going to be battling with uh, 2022 Diamond Kings, a blaster box of that, with 36 cards. I have not opened this on the channel. I have not opened this at all this year, and I've seen some openings of this, and it looks like people are pulling some good stuff out of here. There's a lot of parallels and inserts and all kinds of fun stuff that people are pulling, and uh, so it seemed like uh, something I wanted to, to try out. I don't usually buy a lot of the uh, Panini baseball because they don't have the license to show the, you know, the team logos or anything like that, and they have to airbrush all of that out, and I don't like that as much, but uh, these cards look pretty cool, so I thought I'd give them a chance. Um, before we do that, I have a couple of shout outs, a couple of new subscribers to the channel. I wanted to say hi to them and thank them very much for uh, coming on. The first one is Flyers Dude, established 1974, which uh, I don't know how he established his YouTube channel in 1974. I don't remember YouTube being around back then, but uh, it was the 70s and I don't remember it as clearly as, as some might, but uh, Flyers Dude established 1974. Thank you very much for subscribing to the channel. I appreciate it very much. And I will be doing uh, some hockey uh, tomorrow. We're doing uh, some vintage hockey packs. We'll get opened on the next installment of Dorking with Dice on Ice. Yeah, that's right. That's uh, going to be tomorrow on the channel. You can look forward to that. Um, also want to thank Remember the Great Sports Thank you very much for your subscription. I appreciate it. Uh, if you go over to their channel, Remember the Great Sports uh, does a lot of TTMs. Um, gets a lot of autographs back through the mail. I've been looking at his videos and he really gets some good stuff. Also uh, shows you pickups for his personal collection and uh, has recently been doing some interviews of Indiana sports stars. There was a uh, big ceremony that he attended and was able to meet and interview several uh, luminaries from Indiana. So that's been pretty cool, too. An interesting channel, certainly one to go investigate. I also want to give a shout out to a uh, subscriber that I've had for a while. His name is Philip C. Philip C., I want to give you a shout out because I know you're having a rough time right now, and I just want to make sure you know that I appreciate you and uh, your comments always uh, mean a lot to me. If any of you guys see Philip C.'s uh, comments on this video or any other videos this week, I hope you'll... Uh, Give him a reply. Just let him know that uh, we appreciate him being a part of the community. Philip doesn't have a channel, but he does uh, comment on uh, many of our channels. And uh, he's just going through a, a difficult time. His family suffered a loss. And, uh, you know, they're working their way through it. I know Philip could use some some positive uh, input from us. So, again, if you see Philip C. in the comments, just, uh, you know, leave him a nice uh, reply and let him know that uh, the community is here and that uh, we support everyone who is uh, a part of it. So I uh, hope you're doing better today, Philip. Thank you again for uh, all your support and tuning into the channel. Thank all of you for tuning into the channel today. It's Thursday as I am recording and posting this, and I hope you guys have been having a great week and that you are looking forward to the weekend, that you have some good plans, and that uh, maybe you're just going to relax. I'm not sure, but uh, either way, I appreciate you coming by the channel today. For this, uh, that's right, epic pack battle, battle, battle. That's right, in this corner you've got adequate card wolf. And in the other corner you've got the uh, grand poobah of the brouhaha's, and that is jolting average Joe, Joe, Joe. That's right. So let's get down to it. Let me get Mr. Kershaw out and open up this blaster box, brand new blaster box of 2022 Diamond Kings. As always, practice good knife safety and keep those blades out of the reach of small children. Let's get this opened and see what we're going to get in here. It's 36 cards. I know that. And we are supposed to find one blaster exclusive red frame parallel, which should look like that right there. We should also get three retail exclusives, artist proof blue parallels and we have a possibility the best thing or i think anyway the best thing other than like autographs that you can pull from this is the uh, downtown inserts which are super crazy rare i have not seen anybody pull any of those i've seen those listed online for crazy prices so uh, hopefully we will pull a uh, downtown insert 
from this and uh, see what those are all about. As unlikely as that may be, I think, you know, why not us? It should be us. So uh, there you go. Here are the packs. Six cards per pack and six packs in the box. And, uh, you know, to me, you can't really go wrong putting Mickey Mantle on the cover of your packs and your boxes. I mean, that is just, there's no mistake there. You, you just, you can't go wrong with that. So uh, let's see how we do with this first pack out of this... Uh, Diamond King's Blaster Box in our battle with uh, Jolton Average Joe today. Let's see uh, what we get here. We start off with Walt Alston, a longtime manager of the Dodgers. That's uh, pretty neat. That's one of the reasons I was interested in this uh, product, actually. It has a lot of uh, Hall of Fame and retired players, and I do enjoy that, though I know the value on those cards is not particularly high. But uh, for me personally, it's fun to see those cards. So anyway, Walt Alston, manager, starts us off. Ken Griffey Jr., that's a pretty nice one. I sure do like that. That is a nice in-action shot of uh, Griffey. And we'll put that in the Wolf Lair, because I do uh, set aside Griffey cards whenever I get them. So we'll put that back in the Wolf Lair. Then Stan the Man Musual is uh, the next card in there. Pretty nice card there as well. And uh, we then get to one of those artist proof cards that I was talking about on the box. This is... Patrick Mazika from, uh, I believe he's from the Mets, and uh, this is a rookie card as well, so that's pretty cool. The colors there are straight out of 1980s Miami Vice era color palettes, and I say uh, that's pretty awesome. I have no uh, problem with that. So uh, that's what the backs of those inserts look like. Uh, pretty, pretty interesting cards. Uh, hopefully we'll get... Uh, uh, a more recognizable rookie out of the next two that we pull. This is another uh, insert. It's called Modern Strokes. And this is a good one. I was hoping I'd get one of these. And this is a guy named Fernando Tatis Jr. You may have heard of him. He's uh, certainly lighting it up in the majors. So uh, that's a pretty cool insert. It's got these sort of uh, paintbrush strokes in the background and then a nice in-action shot of the players. The backs of those look like this. And uh, as you can see, that is uh, an insert up there, MS being the abbreviation for that. So that's a pretty cool one there, Modern Strokes. I like that one a lot. Let's uh, move these up so you guys can see what we have here. And then here is uh, a very cool, uh, who is this? Uh, Ronce Contreras uh, card. And this is a rookie as well. And this sort of has a, a canvasy feel to it. It's really a nice subtle design. It's, it's quite different from this other one. I mean, this other one is sort of garish in the color scheme. And then this one is all subtle and refined, so uh, I'm not quite sure what the uh, overall thing is here. This is part of the regular set. This is not an insert, but uh, it's a pretty nice card, and I, I do like that one as well. So that's a pretty good variety out of the first pack there. I, I hope we get some uh, more variety like that out of the rest of these cards. That would be pretty nice. So let's see how we do in this second pack in our battle with uh, Average Joe. Joey Votto starts us off here. It's a pretty nice card. And uh, then we got Xander Bogarts. I've set that aside for Shane from Shoebox Legends, although he probably already has this. Shane seems to have some sort of uh, Xander Bogarts obsession where he must have every single Bogarts card. But if you don't have this one, Shane, let me know. Uh, and then we got a backwards card here. That's a pretty good sign. Let's see what uh, let's see what this backwards card is. It uh, It's a pretty thick card, too. It's Josiah Gray. And it is a, a dual swatch card. It's a pretty nice card. It's a pretty nice hit there. I'm not a huge Josiah Gray fan, but that is a, that is a sweet looking card there. I do like that. Can't complain about that. Nice Josiah Gray hit. Dual swatch card there. Certainly like that one. And we'll be sleeving and uh, top loading that one afterwards. Here's another artist proof card. I think that's the second artist proof card we've got, and it is also a rookie card, much like the first one. This is Jake Myers from the Astros, uh, so I'll put that in the artist proof stack that we have going. Here's another Modern Strokes card, so that's pretty cool. And this is Juan Soto, so if you're going to get two Modern Strokes cards, you get Tatis and Soto. I can't complain about that. That's pretty awesome, actually. Probably uh, put that one in the PC as well. And then here is Matt uh, Vierling, rookie card from uh, Philadelphia. And uh, you can see there's a lot of variety in these packs. You can see why I wanted to uh, open these and uh, see what we could get out of here. Lots of rookie cards, lots of nice 
uh, throwback sort of uh, players, retired players, Hall of Famers. And then uh, we were lucky enough already to get a dual swatch card. I got to tell you, it's going to be tough for Joe to uh, come back against that. I hope that he pulls something equally great. So far, Joe and I have been very evenly matched in our battles. If you've been watching this epic series of throwdowns, Whatever I pull or whatever he pulls, the other person seems to pull something very similar. Here's Eddie Collins, a Chicago great. He's in the Hall of Famer. He's in the Hall of Fame, rather, that I believe. Cedric Mullins, nice Orioles card. like to see that one. We'll have to toss that one in the wolf lair. I do collect Orioles, as many of you will know. Frank Thomas, nice big hurt card there. And uh, now what is this? We haven't seen a card that looks quite like this. This is Brian Delacruz. That is a, a rookie card. I believe he's with the Marlins. Is this a regular part? Yeah, I guess a regular part of the set. But this is a, a design we have not seen yet. That's a pretty neat design. You probably want that closer so you can see it even better. There you go. Brian Delacruz. I'm, I'm not sure what that design is called. This is one we haven't seen either. That's a sweet insert there. Look at that. Fernando Tatis Jr. And that's the Maestro's insert. That's a really nice insert. I like that one a lot. The uh, Maestro's word down there, I'll see if I can get it on camera, it has a nice foily accent to it. Really uh, nice insert there of Tatis. That's two inserts of Tatis that we have pulled. And uh, that's that's what it looks like on the back. Very pretty card. I think, uh, I think that might be my favorite uh, insert design that we've gotten, and I'll make room for that over here. That is a really nice one. I like that. And then Joe Ryan finishes off that pack, and that is uh, a rookie card that picture from the twins and uh that's the artist proof stack and this is the uh the uh, garish color stack i guess we'll put that one there so we've got three packs left we're only halfway through the box and we're doing pretty well i think so let's see uh how we do with this pack here hopefully we'll get some more uh great variety some more big names on the inserts all right so we start off with Whit merrifeld and uh I'll get that in focus for you before we start Proceeding through this pack with Merrifield there. And uh, Mickey Mantle, all right, that's the card we saw on the box. And uh, we'll never complain about pulling a Mickey Mantle card, I'll tell you that. That is uh, pretty sweet to see that one. Corbin Burns uh, has had some success this year with the Brewers. Good pitcher for them. And there is the other artist proof card. It's a Josiah Gray hot box, I think we can safely say. That uh, is the other artist proof card. We get three in a box, I believe, and that is... Uh, Nice rookie there, so we'll put that in the Artist Proof stack. Modern Strokes, another Soto. We get two of those, so uh, there you go. Those are identical, I believe. I don't think there's anything different about those. Very unusual to pull two of the same insert out of a box. Uh, yeah, so uh, one of those is up for grabs. If there's a big Soto fan out there who has not been able to find that card or find any uh, Diamond Kings on the shelves, just let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to send that out to you. Manny Mikado from uh, San Diego finishes uh, that one off for us. And uh, those are some pretty cards. I, I really like this. I only uh, was able to find one box of this, but I think if I see it on the shelves again, I might pick up one more. Um, like I said, I usually avoid the Panini Baseball simply because they don't have the logos or the licenses or any of that. But uh, Pretty happy with uh, these cards, uh, not just because we're I think we're pulling some pretty good stuff, but because I really do like the designs. Panini always does great designs, and uh, they've really stepped up their game with Diamond Kings this year, I think. So let's get this in focus, and we'll go on through this penultimate pack. There's a Miguel Cabrera there for us. I always have trouble pronouncing his name. I'm not sure why Miguel Cabrera there. And uh, there's an Acuna. Acuna. Man, I can't pronounce anyone's name today. What is my deal? Need more coffee, Card Wolf. I think that's what it is. Babe Ruth, you know, I will always be happy to pull Babe Ruth cards, too. <laughs> Got a mantle and a Ruth out of this box. That's pretty sweet. Uh, of course, those uh, those cards really don't have a ton of value, but they're fun for me, and they're going to be fun for my son to see as well. I'm going to put that in the wolf lair for sure. And there's a Luke Williams uh, rookie card. That is, that's a pretty nice design on these cards, i got to say. That is... Uh, Really sweet. I don't know much about Luke Williams because I don't follow the Phillies, but uh, that's a really sweet looking card. I do like that one. I don't think, do we have a stack for that kind of insert? I'm not sure. Oh yeah, that, there we go with uh, Dela Cruz. All right. Gallery of Stars. Here's yet another insert, and we have not pulled this kind yet. This is uh, Carlos Correa from Houston, and that is a very pretty card as well. Look at that. I do, I do like the design on that one. The back of that looks like this. 
and that is uh, another type of insert that we have not seen that one yet so I'm gonna well I'm starting to run out of room here I'm gonna put that squeeze that over here next to the uh, swatch card we got there and then uh, Luis Frias from uh, the Diamondbacks another rookie card there and uh, we'll put him up there in the corner so we got one more pack left uh, would love to pull something big from this pack, though. I feel like pulling that uh, Josiah Gray uh, double swatch card there is about as good as we are going to do, but we'll see. You never know. Here's Charlie Keller from... Uh, did he play with the Yankees, or was he with uh, the Giants? I cannot remember. Anyway, here's Charlie Keller. I'll look on the back of the card because I'm curious. just says New York. Come on now. That is uh, not helping me. I'll have to look that up. Charlie Keller, one of the uh, all-time greats for sure. A-Rod with uh, Texas there. Interesting choice for that card. And uh, another Tatis. Man, we are pulling Tatis and Soto today uh, like it's our job. That's a pretty nice card to pull. No problem with that. And then uh, behind Tatis. Oh, we got another artist proof. We got four. I think we were only supposed to get uh, three, if I'm remembering right. But we did get four, so that's pretty neat. Pee Wee Reese artist proof. That's a nice one. Happy to find that. Put that in that stack. Now, what do we have here? It's another insert that we have not seen. Artist's Palette with uh, Bryce Harper from the Phillies. We've gotten a lot of Phillies today. That's a really pretty card as well. Artist's Palette. Well, that is a, a new insert for me. I have not seen that one. That's what the backs of those look like. So that's pretty cool. We'll set that off to the side there. And then we finish off with a guy you may know of named... Ty Cobb. I'll get that in uh, focus for you so you can see Tyrus in all of his uh, glory there. Ty Cobb. So that's pretty cool. Also, toss that in the wolf lair with Babe Ruth. Again, those uh, old-timey Hall of Famers I know aren't particularly valuable, but I really enjoy them, so they are valuable to me. So anyway, that was a pretty good box, I think. I think we did pretty well with that. We got uh, no huge rookie cards, I don't think, but uh, we did pretty well with this uh, double swatch card of Josiah Gray. We also got, uh, I mean, that's a lot of different inserts. Look at the, I'm just looking at these. That's a quite a lot of different inserts there. I mean, that is neat. I think my favorite is probably this uh, Maestro's one. I'll pick that up and show it up close to you guys again, so you can check it out once more. That is just a, a really beautiful card. I would uh, may have to go online and see who else they made in that uh, insert set and see if I can pick up some more of those. I really like the looks back and front. I think that is a beautiful insert. I uh, will definitely want to pick up more of those. Uh, I'm really uh, pretty satisfied with this product. We got four artist proofs. I think the box said we were only supposed to get three. We got Pee Wee Reese and uh, Josiah Gray because it's a Josiah Gray hot box. And we also got Jake Myers and uh, Patrick Mazeka from the Mets. I think he's from the Mets. They just say New York on these cards and they don't tell you you sure he's... Uh, I don't know. You guys can tell me in the comments if I'm wrong. I think I got that. Uh, so anyway, very cool inserts. You guys should go over and check out Average Joe's video of him opening up this product and let us know who you think won this uh, pack battle in our ongoing series. Joe's going to have to do pretty well, but I wouldn't put it past him. Joe has been pulling really well lately, and we always just seem very evenly matched. So I, I bet that he pulls something that will uh, be just as good as that. I bet he pulls uh, an auto or a mem card or something out of there. I, that's just the way our our pack battles seem to go. I don't know what it is. We're very evenly matched. So uh, good luck to Joe. I'm going to go over and look for his video very soon after I post this. Hope you guys are having a great Thursday once again. Thanks for stopping by. Check out Average Joe's channel if you haven't already. He's a wonderful guy and he's been posting stuff every single day and i try to keep up with that but uh do the best i can but i can't quite match his his breakneck pace over there so uh, check out average joe let us know who you think won and i will be back tomorrow with dorking with dice on ice that's right tomorrow you can look forward to that and i uh, hope you guys have a good rest of your thursday i'll see you very soon and as always happy collecting